So we already learned about VLOOKUPs and INDEX MATCHES, but the problem with these functions is that they only allow us to match up single values. But what if we had to do lookups based on multiple criteria? For instance, in this example, which is in the INDEX MATCH ARRAY file, and I provided a link to these files in the video description if you want to follow along, we have three different fields. And each of these fields contain different information related to smartphones. In column A, we have the model. Okay, so it's either an iPhone or a Galaxy. In column B, we have the version. So you have the version 9, the X, the XR, the Galaxy 9 or the Galaxy 10. And in column C, we have the storage. Now suppose here in cell H8, we wanted to find the quantity available. And in cell H9, we wanted to find the cost for a particular type of phone based on the values in cells H3 through H5. Well, in order to do that, we're going to have to use what's called an array. If we try to do a V lookup or an index match, it's not going to work because we have duplicate values in all of these different cells here. So before I show you how to do it by using an array, I want to show you a different method that does not involve using an array, but it does involve one extra step. So let's come over here and insert a column to the left, okay, and let's call this column concat. Now in this column here in cell F2, we're going to concatenate the values in A2, B2, and C2. So now you see the concatenated value of these three columns in cell F2. So let's do an autofill and copy that down. And now we can do an index match and match up our lookup value against column F in order to get the quantity and the cost. So let's go ahead and do that. Okay, now the array is going to be column D because we want to find the quantity available. The row number, for the row number, that's where we're going to use the match. And now it's asking for the lookup value. So for the lookup value, we're going to concatenate the values in cells I3 through I5. Now it's asking us for the lookup array. So that's going to be this column F over here, which we just created. And now the match type is going to be zero because we want to do an exact match. And now let's close out the match function. And now let's also close out the index fun function. And now we can see for the iPhone XR 256 gigabytes, the quantity available is 149 units. And if we look on this data set, we see that that's correct. Now let's change this to the iPhone 9, okay? And let's say that it's the 16 gigabyte unit. Now we can see the quantity available for the iPhone 9, 16 gigabyte, which is 358 units. Now let's figure out the cost. So we're gonna use pretty much the same exact formula, except this time the array is gonna be column E instead of column D. Okay, so the array is column E. The row number is going to be where we use the match formula. And now the lookup value is going to be the same as before. We're going to concatenate I3 through I5. The lookup array is going to be column F. And now the match type is going to be zero for exact match. Let's close out the match function and let's close, close out the index function. Let's hit enter, and now we see the price for the iPhone 9 16 gigabytes, and that's $600, which is correct. Now, like I was saying before, this method involved one extra step, because we had to come here and create column F and concatenate all these values here. So if we wanted to avoid this extra step, well, we're going to have to use an array function. So let me show you how to do that. First, let's get rid of column F here, and now let's get rid of these formulas and go back into cell H8 and create a new formula. And we're going to first use the index formula. And now it's asking us for the array. Well, the array is going to be column D because we want to find the quantity available. Now for the row number, we're going to have to type the match function. So, so far, pretty similar. And now the lookup value is going to be the same as before. We're going to concatenate H3 through H5. Let's hit comma, and now it's asking for the lookup array. 
This is where it gets a little bit different. So for this, we're going to select column A, followed by an ampersand, followed by column B, followed by another ampersand, followed by column C. Now let's hit a comma, and for match type, let's type zero for exact match. Let's close out the match function, and now let's also close out the index function. And something's, something's going to be wrong, and I'll explain to you why. So let's hit enter, and now you see hashtag value. And the reason that says has, hashtag value is because we didn't turn this formula into an array. Okay, the way to turn a formula into an array is to hit control shift and enter instead of just hitting enter. Okay, so let's try that. Let's hit control shift enter. And now we see 358 for the quantity available, which we know is correct. And if you look at the formula here in the formula bar here, you see these curly brackets at the beginning and at the end of the formula. That indicates that it is an array function. So let's come back into cell H9 now, and let's do the same formula, but instead, this time, let's look up the cost. Okay, so let's begin by typing the index formula. And now it's asking for the array, so this time it's going to be column E. Now it's asking for the, the row number, so we're going to use the match function. The lookup value is going to be the same as before. The lookup array is also going to be the same as before, so it's going to be column A, ampersand, column B, ampersand, column C. The match type is still going to be zero for exact match, and now let's close out the match function and let's also close out the index fun function, and now let's hit control shift enter. And now we see the cost for this iPhone 9 16 gigabytes of $600. And if we look here in row two, we see that that's correct. Now let's change this to Galaxy 9, and now let's say 128 gigabytes. And now we see the quantity and the price for the Galaxy 9, 128 gigabytes, which is 398 available. $650. So we know that this is working correctly. And that's how you look up values with multiple criteria. 